All right, this is going to be the uh, how to show you how to get the achievement out of your league, which is kill somebody that is four levels higher than you. It's extremely easy. After you come out of the tower, you're going to make your way down. The very first town you get to is Gorhart. Now, here's Gorhart. If you have bought the game, this chest is going to be loaded with armor, s weapons that you can use, which is what I am wearing right now. There's two ways you can get this achievement. Now, after you decide what you want, and after you've sold everything, you're going to make about probably around 8500 In this shop, she sells a uh, carry bag, which will increase your inventory. It's like about 4500 Now, as you go through the village, just stay to the right. You're going to come up to that. That is the jail. Greetings. Lawbreaker's Grotto. Now, I've already gone in. I got the achievement. Unfortunately, there's no way for you to delete an achievement, so you won't see it popping up. It's a very easy lock. You pick it. We're going to enter Lawbreaker Grotto. Now, there is two ways you can do this. I'm going to bring the inner map up. You're going down to here, right in this area. There's a prisoner down here that is four levels higher than you. You have two guards, and there they are. They do a continuous loop. You do not want to do this when they're right there. You want to wait until they're way down there, because they're going to come running. This right here is the lever to pull and release the doors. Which will release this guy out. That is the guy that you're going for. Now, while those guys are walking, eh, it's not going to work. Some of the things that you're going to get, you're going to get these weapons. You want to make sure that your primary and your secondary, you're equipped with a weapon that gives you 15% reckoning duration. So I've got chalk roms. Whatever. And the greatsword. 15, so I have a 30% um, rating on it. Which means I stay in the reckoning duration longer. Now, as you can see, my fate is fully set up. Before you come in here, you want to make sure you go around, kill some, you know, go into the woods, kill some things, get your fate glowing if you're going to go along the fate route. Now, with these chakrams, if you're going to do the, we're going we're gonna to call this the first way. You want to switch to the burning ones. Kills them faster. And you can sit here and hit him with the chakrams and he will, he will drop his health down. But like I said, you got to make sure the guards are far enough away that it gives you time. Because they come running pretty quick. And it's considered assault, and it's like a 1,500, you know, 1,500 gold fine at this level. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to save the game. And we're going to do the chakrams. As soon as he's dead... Oops. Got to make sure you go into uh, assault mold. And he dies. Boom. And at this point, the achievement would pop up saying that you've just killed somebody that's four levels higher than you. That's probably the easiest way. And I just leveled up. Cool. Now. We're going to load, and I'm going to show you the second way to do this. Like I said, this is a little more. Lawbreaker's Grotto. Again, you have to go into the, you know, you got to, as soon as you see him, you crouch down, go into the assault mode. You're going to hit him. 
Um, and then you're going to pull the lever. Where am I? Oh, this is a chest. There'll be some gold in there. Don't bother stealing anything. All right, so now... Pull the lever. Go into fate mode. Because it goes a lot quicker and a lot easier. And boom, then your achievement would pop up and you could, you know, get him for a little bit of gold. The only problem is at this point. Wow. Okay, that's weird. Usually they come running over. You committed murder. You committed jailbreak. Oh, that's pretty interesting. So there you go. And that's two ways to do it. You can either get him with a these right outside the gates safe and secure just make sure those guys are all the way down there or you can pull the lever and fate shift his ass that'll give you fate shifting gives you more experience points all right there we go let's put this up